What's up, YouTube? This is your boy, Kenny. I'm sitting here about to get Myra a bath at the same truck wash I got her a bath last time, like uh, two weeks ago, uh, back at Pride Truck Wash. That would be the, about to be the best $125 I spent on the truck wash in my life for the second time, anyway. Um, see, I got my face sharing trend up. Yeah, I'm about to admire looking good. We about to be looking good. Um, I want to wish everybody. I can't believe I didn't put this in my other videos. But in honor of Black History Month. I want to wish all my truck drivers out there a black, happy Black Truckers Month. That's right. Black Truckers Month. I'm going to enjoy this month. I've got a few days left to be all about my my skin color. No, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I joke. I joke. Uh, I'm not that type of person. Uh, so, uh, yeah, I just got back on the truck. I had a glorious weekend with my wife. Spent some time with her this weekend. Got on Thursday night. And, uh, yeah, Myra's about to get the works done. She's about to get scrub a dub dub three man in the tub she likes to get freaky no I, I can't again I can't again uh but she about to get you know uh wash get a paint conditioner get some spray on wax get a little hood clean um uh, we just she's just gonna be looking good that's at least at least until tomorrow because I'm going down to Georgia and it's supposed to be raining when I get back up to Tennessee at least or no back up in Ohio it's supposed to be raining tomorrow so I think I'll be I'll be in the rain all day tomorrow so not excited about that but that's how it works sometimes uh, we'll go to the movie and like them but they're a lot cheaper but they, they suck it's called freaking vegan for a reason guys and uh, this video might not be that long um, I will say this, uh, <coughs> excuse me, uh, we're going to talk about reducing stress as a truck driver. Yeah, as you know, truck driving is a very stressful job, very demanding, and, uh, one, one, uh, no, rule number one, you should always keep a clean truck. Now, my truck is a little bit of a mess. I'm going to put it together once I get done driving today. Um, and then, uh, we go from there. Uh, have a clean truck. Have a clean dash. Uh, please, whatever you do, get showers. Get showers and take a bird bath in the morning. Staying clean and well kept is reduces stress. Um, by the way, if you got any any ideas or other ways to reduce stress, throw them in the comments. Throw them in the comments. And, or if something I missed, throw them in the comments. And I'll drop them down. Um, another thing you can do is uh, do what I do. I have, I have this can, this lavender Yankee candle. This lavender Yankee candle. It reduces a lot of stress. It creates my place of zen when I'm done driving. And it makes the truck smell heavenly. And on top of that, it relaxes me to the point I want to go to sleep. Which is, it helps me sleep. I don't fall asleep on candles. I try not to keep candles lit while I'm sleeping. Because, you know, it's you, you, you can't keep an eye on it. If it catches on fire. So... Now, this candle will put me to sleep. I got off the phone with my wife and then wake up until four in the morning and that candle was still lit. So that was, a, I was like, holy crap. What was I thinking? I should have turned it off, uh, blown it out. But I do keep a candle on my truck at all times just to create my places in when I'm done driving. Uh, to try to get eight hours of sleep. You got a 10 hour break. That's too hard to do whatever you what you made with it. But always keep that eight hours for yourself. Try to get some sleep. Get eight hours of sleep. Uh, another thing you should do 
uh, I'll tell you what I do. Um, at night, I know it's cold outside right now. I know it's winter. Some places are hot and some places are nice. But I'm telling you right now, keep at least one window crack and your sleeper. You will get a better night's sleep because it's fresh oxygen coming in, fresh air coming in, and you'll be more relaxed. Uh, because all you, when you have to sleep with the windows closed, all you're doing is sleeping and breathing and recycled air. And this is scientifically proven that, you know, we, we breathe in oxygen, but breathe out carbon dioxide. So what is that sleeper doing the entire time during that 10 hour break? You're sitting in that truck, breathing in all the in, breathing in all the oxygen, and you're depleting your oxygen levels in the truck. So what you should do is leave a cracked window and let some fresh air, fresh oxygen in, and when you're sleeping, your body doesn't have to work as hard to uh, get oxygen while you're sleeping. Uh, versus if you close the window and then you, you, you're you breathing all that recirculated air and depleting your oxygen uh, levels inside the truck, your body now has to work harder while you're sleeping to get oxygen into your body versus if you leave a cracked window open, uh, you, you let fresh air in. I promise you it'll get a lot better and it helps with climate control. See, I got a bunker heater and it gets really hot up in here. And so I, you, if you see this truck at a truck stop and you were to park next to me in the dead heat of winter, I may have all the sleepers windows open. Every single last one of them. You might be thinking, what is this fool doing with the sleeper with the windows open like that? I'm telling you, it's climate control. I'm actually not not cold at all. I'm nice and warm and toasty. I'm just right. So sleep with the windows open. Sleep with at least one window open. I do it even in the summer. Uh that fresh air and when I sleep it gets better and you'll get a better night's sleep remember that uh, to uh, like I said keep, keep keep your truck clean keep your dash clean and uh, that's the things you should do to relax yourself and one thing I like to do when you know you know I got flipped off four times last week while I was back for doing nothing did nothing wrong nothing wrong to the floor so you know what I like to do? This reduces my stress level and, and I get some humor out of it myself. So it's a double edged sword. So what I do, when they flip me off, I go, yeah, I'm number one. Thank you for telling me. I appreciate it. I didn't know I was number one, but you tell me I'm number one, I am number one in their book. I just made them uh, their number one fan of mine. I appreciate them. And then I go about my business. Sometimes I do cut some back out. You know, you cut some out, move on. But when I get flipped off, you know, yeah, I go, I'm number one. I am. Uh, two for craps and giggles. Uh, I know I keep saying two a lot, and I done listed a bunch of them already. Yeah, this is just off the top of my dome right now. But, uh... Now, this day and age, you don't get the access a lot to chug your horn. Uh, I do it for anybody. Grown adults, kids, I don't care. It's something fun to do while I'm driving. And I have a blast while doing it. Uh, I will blow this horn. I don't care if it's a noise ordinance in that town. I'm blowing it because you know what? I got nothing else to do with driving. It's fun to do. It reduces my stress levels. And it's just, they get a little kick out of it. So I enjoy doing that. Um, find a friend, a good person to talk to that you can talk to for hours. Talking to having somebody to talk to, whether it's a trucker buddy, a friend, a best friend, even your wife or girlfriend. Uh, take some time, you know, especially if it's your girlfriend or wife, you know, take some time out of your day and just spend on the phone with them talking about what's going on in your life, talk about what's going on in their life, you know, you can, uh, they gotta spend, you gotta spend so too much time away from your family, especially your significant other, give them some time back as much as you can, 
uh, that reduces stress. That reduces uh, stress in itself. I got three trucker buddies I talk to constantly. One I talk to every day. Uh, we can talk about hours. And we can talk to each other for hours. We can spend the whole day talking to each other. Literally, span from the time of the morning to the evening if we wanted to talking to each other. Uh, it brings out my stress level and it makes the trip go by faster. Uh, let's see. Uh, when you put stuff away in your, your truck, everything has a home. Everything goes in the same spot every single time. It helps you get organized. And another one to relax, you reduce your stress while driving during the day, is know where that truck is going. Know where it is going before you move that truck. The most dangerous thing you can do in the truck is move the truck without knowing where it's going. That's how all these accidents happen. That's how you end up on roads you don't belong going because you didn't do your research. It's how these bridges keep getting hit because you didn't do your research. Know where that truck is going before you go. And that will reduce your stress. Uh, uh, because you know exactly what route you're taking. You know, you gotta sometimes you gotta make executive decisions. Me and my she my Liola, my GPS, we 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 yell at each other constantly. Like she be telling me she don't wanna be going down that road. And I say, Well, I gotta go down this road. I know I shouldn't, but I'm going to because my delivery is on this back little back country road and uh so she don't want to go sometime and like oh this she'd be like it's down there i'm telling you it's down there you gotta go down this road there's no other way around and i'm like okay i'm trusting you like and then i said i said myra so we gotta we gotta do it we gotta do it we got to do it i don't want to as much as you don't but she sometimes she get we get arguing sometimes but, you know another thing you should do but take two hours. You got, like I said, you got eight hours to yourself. Two hours. What I do on a nice summer, nice comfortable day, I'll instead of being on the truck talking to my wife, I'll go walk the truck stop with my Bluetooth talking to my wife for two hours. That gets me off the truck, gets me away from it, the stress that it brings. Uh, you know, and sometimes you know Myra needs needs some time away from me. You know. We, like my wife she enjoys some of her time away from me but it makes her miss me more so myra you know we gotta we gotta get some time away from each other and she'd be like oh you be you load me up with all this weight making me pull all these forty-five thousand pounds i'm just moving up i ain't doing nothing i'll just move it up uh you pull all this weight up these dang old hills and, and making me work all hard. She's like, I need some stress away from you because all you see is sit there and hold the steering wheel. And I'm like, yeah, but we working together. She's like, I'm doing all the work. And I'm we get an argument. And Maya, me and Maya, we go back and forth. And I'm like, well, it, it is what it is. So I got to get some time away from her and she got to get some time away from me. It keeps everybody happy. You know, it keeps everybody happy. And, uh, what other things you can do? Get some exercise. 30, try to get 30 minute exercise every day. You know, I'm guilty of it. I have a winter hit. I ain't got no 30 minute exercise every day like I was getting in the, in the, in the fall and summer. I was, uh, I, I'm guilty of just, you know, getting done driving and eating my dinner and then my wife and going to sleep. And that's something that work. So that's a good way to reduce your stress, get some exercise in, or walk, pound the pavement a little bit, watch a favorite cartoon that you, you know, pastime, or, you know, get your playlist, make you a playlist that you can just be jamming down the road, you know what I mean? Like, you like, or sometimes you need some me time, you know? Take some time, take some time to think about things down the road, but get your playlist, put all your favorite songs, your favorite artists, and you'll be jamming down the road. It'll reduce your stress, you get to, you get to enjoy your favorite artists, uh, listen to a podcast, these are all things that reduce the stress. Um, and uh, let's see, what else can you do to reduce stress? You guys got any suggestions to bring up other truck drivers to reduce stress? Because 
it's a it's a terrible thing out here. Stress is a, a killer out here. And uh, yeah, so uh, I think that's that's all I can think of driving down the road here. It's like the things you can do to produce stress. Oh, get you some Febreze. And Febreze your truck before you drive. And then after you drive, Febreze your truck again. And that'll keep your truck smelling heavenly. Good smells reduce the stress. Right? That's why I got my, I got Lysol disinfectant spray that I spray the whole truck down with in the morning before I drive. And I spray it down to get through driving. And along with the candle, and I'm telling you, my truck be smelling heavenly. Uh, after the candle lit, I got some reusants. This is snuggle scented. Uh, this is just, it's, it, it, you know, uh, it's just to keep the truck smell down. It really don't really kind of, when you get in a truck, you can't smell it. It's just, you know, trucks got that truck smell. You let it get out of hand. Everything in your truck is going to smell like truck. And everything smells like truck after you get into it. But this help keeps it down. Yeah. So, if someone use it, you know, I, like, I like good smells. Good smells bring, I mean, it brings good emotion. It sets the tone for your place of zen. So, really, guys, these are all things you should do as a truck driver. Keep your truck clean. Inside outside like this is gonna be the last time Myra gets a bath into April she gets two baths a month every other month and since uh, she's on an even number I do it every even month so like like what I mean by that is my truck number is four four three zero so I get it washed at least twice uh, a month every other month so the next time she's getting my bath is going to be in April. I try to get it done the first week of April or the first week of the month. I try to get it done at least a week before the end of the month or the last week of that month. Uh, so this is perfect because I'm on my way down to Georgia. I got plenty of time to get down there. Um, but yeah, these just really guys reduce. Do what do what makes you happy. Do what reduces stress for you. Create yourself a place of zen. You know, on the truck. That you can enjoy, learn whether you like candles, incense. Uh, I tried the incense thing. Make sure you have a window crack when you do that. Uh, um, I did that on a truck I driven for that person smoked in uh, to get help get rid of that cigarette smell. It's like eventually, enough of the incense smell will get up in there and 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 get rid of the smoke smell. But whatever it takes to get you a place is in, guys. Um, at the end of the day, I close these curtains, separate the front from my home. Um, I used to do that while I was driving. Like once I, 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 I drove, I closed the curtains. Then I could be like, okay, I could be like, I'm going home. That's my hotel back there. But unfortunately, uh, the problem is when it comes to climate control on the truck and it's too cold to really have the window down over there, I'd be having the sleeper windows open uh to combat the heat up here and having the curtains closed and i'm stuck with all that heat up here and all that heat nowhere to go so i'll be burning up sweating my, you know what all uh so guys i'm going to finish up this in this video I remember drive next to a truck driver we all here doing the same thing spending time away from family all in the name to make a quick buck uh so just pay some camaraderie to your camaraderie to your next driver and give them the peace sign give them the peace sign and in my last video i was asked about my percentage pay and i tell i think in my video i said 71 percent it's actually 73 percent uh my man julio asked uh it's 73 percent uh, and then the one percent safety bonus on top of that. So, um, uh, that's what it is. And yeah, all right, guys. Remember, throw the peace sign. I do it every time I pass a driver. Um, another semi truck driver. That is. Um, 
and uh, keep the sunny side up and the rubber side down. You guys have a fantastic week. I know I will. At least I'm trying to. Uh, all right, you got any questions, comments, concerns, throw them in the comment box down below. Make sure you like, subscribe, and I may, if your question is really good one, I may make a video just on that topic. Otherwise, I, I definitely will respond to any comment uh, posted on this video or any of my videos. Uh, again, all my truckers out there, happy Black Truckers Month. Um, I already thought of one for next month for St. Patrick's Day. I'm not going to disclose it, but it's, I think it's pretty funny, but it may not. Oh, and I'm going to show you guys uh, some of the new tattoos that I got for Myra. She's getting a little, she got some little tats that I'm going to show you guys after uh, she gets washed. And I might, if I put them on today, I definitely get some uh, pics of them. They'll probably be up in the. Uh, Photo section at the intro, intro, the the intro of this um, video, but yeah, keep the sunny side up, rubber side down, and good day.